Welcome to Airplay. Today's show is about love. It's Valentine's Day, right? Love is a many splendored thing. Love is all you need. Love, love, love. We all talk about world. In this world, we need love. We need to have love. We need to know love. We need to give love. That said, our play today is our sweetheart of the year, Shirley King. Shirley was first inspired by theater when her mom took her to see Peter Pan. That is a very inspiring play, any way you look at it. But you know, when you talk about love, there's a lot of things to love too. Passions, we love things, we love people. Our world is full of love. We give flowers. Flowers are a very gentle sentiment. We give candy, the sweetness of love. But we also love something I love, books. And that's what today's play is about. Shirley, this is a recent monologue for Shirley. She recently had to give some books away. Felt kind of hard to part with them. So without further ado, breaking up is hard to do by Shirley King. So welcome Christy Donahue, our sweetheart on air player. Thanks. This is all way too much. I'm talking books. Yes, I know. Who cares? Well, please hear me out. I've got books to donate to the library, but they just sit there in my bookcase and really delete them to the car by themselves. <laughs> They're guilting me, saying, look, you bought and loved us, and now, now we're not good enough for you? I'm what they call a librarian. You know what that means. Someone with a degree in library science, which I actually got last year. What I do now is help people find books and check them out when I'm not asking kids in my best Marion the librarian voice to please hold it down or go home. Books. My books. I'm talking to you, so pay attention. Six months ago, Rick walked into the library looking for all the light we cannot see, an actual hardcover. Well, they were all checked out, so I put Rick on the waiting list for that story about a French girl and soldier who survived the war, or maybe not. I stopped reading at page 32, and before you guilt me for that, I got busy sorting and shelving. Guess what? Books, just like you. I was doing my job, okay? But then, Rick kept coming back to see if I could move them up, so yes, I admit it. I, I took pity, bought the book, and gave it to him. And then, then we moved in together, even if his taste in books is embarrassing. What can I tell you? He's a guy. Except for all the light and aberration on his part, he reads hardcore stuff like Blood Meridian and Hell's Angels. The thing is, I read you in ebooks now. Think of it this way. You've branched out. Is that so wrong? You're still, quote, books, unquote, but now I carry a zillion of you in my purse. And after all, I'm giving you new life by donating you to the library book sale. You want to stay forever in my bookcase thinking nobody cares? No way. Now, you'll be treasured by folks who can't afford a Kindle. And, and no, I am not sending you to bargain basement purgatory. Don't look at me that way. You're made of trees. You want to see those trees thrown under the bus by someone? Not me. Probably Rick. We'll dump you because you're not band of brothers. So let's say adios, it's been swell, and off we go. <laughs> Could we just do that? Think it over. Will I read Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert? Downloading. <laughs> Downloading. Oh, oh no, I forgot to charge my Kindle. How can I read this book? Well, of course, there's an easy fix. <laughs> Plug in the charger. What will I do for the next two hours? Clean grout in the shower? Change cat litter? Not happening. I guess I could read an actual book. Maybe even finish all the light we cannot see. I'm sort of wondering about that girl and her soldier. Maybe I do care, just a little. Do they survive? Is there a happy ending? I don't have a clue. Rick won't tell me. 
keep saying, read the book, Casey, then you'll know. It's too much. Still, he does cook a super fantastic lasagna, so I think I'll keep him. <laughs> Will I keep you books? That's what you're asking. I'll get back to you on that. Meanwhile, all the light you cannot see, let me warn you. If you do not have the best ending ever, you've got some explaining to do.